Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie, if you're new, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay, so for today's video, I just wanted to do a shop my stash, um, chatty get ready with me. I was between that and filming um, the foundation wear test of the L'Oreal powder foundation that just came out, but I'm gonna film that one tomorrow. I just wanted to do something more relaxed today and just sit down and chat with you guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into applying the makeup. So, all right, you guys. So, we are going to start in here, which are all of my foundations and stuff. I think I used this the last time. I have not used this foundation in so long, so we're gonna go ahead and pick out our Wonder, I, can't, I love how it's say our, my Wonder Beauty foundation. And for concealer, okay, we're gonna use this one. I'm still learning how I like this one the most. So we are gonna go ahead and pick this one out. It's not terrible, so that's why I haven't decluttered it yet, but we are gonna go ahead and try that one. So for primers, I have not tried the marshmallow primer yet. So let's go ahead and pick that one out. Okay, so I have this, but I really wanna do a foundation wear test on that. That's what I was debating on today, of between a wear test on this and just playing with my makeup, but I just have to just play with my makeup. You know what? I haven't really used this powder like I want to. You know what? Ugh, nah, we'll take this. And then I do want to take this cream bronzer and this cream blush, but we also need some actual bronzers. And I feel like I haven't used this in so long that whenever I was organizing, I accidentally stuck this over with the blush because I forgot that I even had it. So let's go ahead and use our e.l.f. bronzer today. And then for highlight, now these three are the ones that I rarely ever use. I have been hooked on this one. So let's see. I guess let's go with this one, Lunch Money. Um, for blushy blush. Let's use the e.l.f. blush too, because I haven't used that in a while. Okay, do we want to use a drugstore? Nope, we're not going to use a drugstore. You know what, we'll use the drugstore primer. But, this is on my high-end eyeshadow palettes. Uh, see, my sweet, sweet friend got me these. But I saw Bailey Sarian do like the prettiest smoky eye on Monday. So I think... Of course, brown smoky eye, I should say. I'm going to go in with the Dominique Cos. Let me make sure first. Yeah, so it has the deep brown that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this one. Hey, hey guys. Okay, and then over here, um, we're going to pick out a brown eyeliner. And for brow gel, I haven't used the e.l.f. brow gel in a while. So we'll go ahead and use that. And gonna use any eyeliner but we do need and then I really really decluttered my mascaras you guys like I literally only have four mascaras in there or five um but I haven't used this one in a while so let's use that one of course we need that and we need the tweezers and four brows I didn't even realize I had this many brow products until I went through this but I haven't used this one in a while. And then I'm going to use my NYX pen to add in some hair strokes. Okay, so four lashes. So we have my hair lashes. We have, I used these in my last shop, my stash. Um, these are my current faves. Um, these are still in my car. I really need to take those out of my car. But you know what? I only wore these once since I've bought them. I just really need to wear them again to see if I really just don't like them or if I don't like them on me. So, I mean, we'll try these again today, but I've only tried them once. And since we're doing everything brown, you guys know I gotta go in with my dark 
brown lip liner and we can use a regular lipstick today because I feel like I don't ever use regular lipsticks but I'm looking for up oh, here it is this one the Revlon lipstick in mink we'll use that one I also decluttered my lip products anything that I had for over for a year and over in my lip products I decluttered and that's why there's so little of them now but for oh I did receive this I'm gonna use this as a priming spray today but for setting spray I have very little of this left like hardly any so I'm gonna finish this up today and let's go ahead and apply this to our face let's go ahead and start out with the marshmallow primer now I haven't used this and this is from NYX and this little tiny thing was eight bucks. Like this is tiny, not even half an ounce. This is 0.27 fluid ounces and this is eight bucks. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger than this. It was not, it was not. <laughs> it smells good. This smells like those um, bomb pops, the ones that are like red, white, and blue. Those, that's what that smells like. I bet I need to do my eyebrows because I never think to do my eyebrows when I'm not filming. Huh, they're not that bad. All right, see, not too bad. That's probably the best my eyebrows have ever been. So anyways, my face is finally clearing up. Thank you, Lord. And I meant to take my nail polish off before I started. Please excuse the nails for this video. I meant to take this off before I started, but whatever, life happens. So now we're gonna try the Dacha, Dacha, Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And this is just a little sample I won in a giveaway, but. Brows, we're gonna go in with brows. So I'm going to go ahead and use this brow, this item, ooh, brow pencil. I got this in an Ipsy last year and I felt I had fallen in love with it, but then I was scared to run out of it. And so I stopped using it and now I have a ton of product left. So let's go ahead and try to, let's go ahead and do our brows. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the strokes in the brows with this. Now I will clean them up and we are just gonna go ahead and still use our NYX concealer to clean them up. So going in with, con with concealer with our eye primer, just apply that to our lids. And so that way it's not so tacky. We're gonna go ahead and set that down with vanilla cream right here. We're just gonna take my favorite setting down eyeshadow brush from Morphe. So for our crease transition shade, taking another Morphe brush and we are going to take the shade Caramel and we're just gonna start buffing that into our crease. So if you guys notice, I don't know if the video's up already where I rearranged my room or not, but if not, I mean, if you haven't seen it or whatever, if it's not up, it'll be coming. If it is up and you've seen it or haven't seen it, that video is up if you wanna see me rearrange my bedroom because it's something that I do every couple of months. But I really rearranged it because I got those two new drawers but honestly, I really like this setup more. Like even if I, like I don't know which other way I could rearrange this room because I've been rearranging it every couple of months that we've lived here. And we are going on three years of living here. So it is insane to think we moved in here uh, 
June of 2019, and now it's already about to be June of 2021. Well, after June, we'll be working on three years. I don't know. But yeah, I told Ryan, like, I don't want to move, because he was like, I told him I wanted a dog. He said the only way that we could get a dog is if we got a bigger place. So we would have to move. And I told him we ain't moving unless we buy in a house. So, wasn't trying to do tick for tack. <laughs> but that's what happened. So we, we are either staying here for another year or we're about to buy a house, because I'm not moving. I love this house. Like, like if we could have bought this house and added on to it and made the backyard bigger, like we definitely would have bought it. But like, I just, I don't, uh, it's hard to find a master bedroom as big as our room here. Like our master bedroom is a massive here where we live and I love it. So the only way is like, if we could find a house very, very with a master bedroom this big, like honestly, and I know it sounds mean, I don't care about the size of them other bedrooms. Like I just want a master, master bedroom this big with the walk-in closet, just like we have now. Cause it's like, if I could rent and have something nice, why would I buy and have something crappy? Not crappy, but not up to par with what I like. And yeah, so, and also I just don't want to deal with any other landlords. Like our landlord is cool. We hit her up, like if we ever have problems and as long as we're paying our rent, like she minds our business, but like, you know, like we don't have one of those landlords who is all in our business and we like she also don't like add like crazy fees or nothing and she gets stuff fa stuff fixed in a timely manner and the last few the last couple of landlords we had to deal with like i'm just no like you just don't find good landlords in let me know if you feel me down below like if you agree with me like it's hard to find a good landlord that's not like a part of a big company that like has to keep up with stuff like this is a landlord like she's not a part of some major company she owns a few houses let me know if you agree with me that it's hard to find good landlords that mind their business they ain't popping up checking things out all the time and like as long as you pay your rent they cool and like they get stuff fixed in a timely manner like i like that that's another thing about buying a house where i'm like you see if we buy a house we are solely responsible if anything goes wrong in that house Whereas we could just call our landlord and be like, hey, this is broken. Dang, I don't, didn't even tell y'all. So I took Caramel's transition shade and then I went into Hazelnut to deepen that up. And now I'm going in with Mocha to really deepen up that outer corner. But yeah, so whenever I rearrange this room, which is what I was talking about anyways, um, that same day, Brian and I have got some news. And so we went, Not I'm not pregnant or anything like that, but his brother was gonna come stay with us and he ended up not coming but i decided i had been wanting and i had been planning on filming me decluttering the whole house just like the same way that i always do our bedroom so i was going to do the guest room next but i wasn't going to do it for a while but whenever his brother thought that he was going to come stay with us i went and i deep cleaned and karina helped me we deep cleaned uh like decluttered the crap out of that guest room and the closet and everything and it just felt so so good and i was like yes finally like going back into vanilla cream i feel like this looks nothing like bailey syrians because i got little old lady wrinkly eyelids whatever progress <laughs> not perfection but I'm kind of bothered that it looks like the brown cuts off right there. I'm like, I don't know, my eyelid does something weird right there where it won't hold the pigment. Maybe it's just cause that vanilla cream shade is so bright. <laughs> also, ever since we've been watching the game, Brian puts a little headband on that like, if you watch the game, you'll know what I'm talking about. Puts a little headband on like the ones that Malik wears. And Brian been walking around the house calling himself Big Daddy Leak Leak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is hilarious. Malik was hilarious in that show. There was only one season, and it was only the beginning of the season that I could not stand Malik. And then, but other than that, like other than that one season, after he got sober and stuff like that, and he started being like his original self, I was like, oh, okay, like I like Malik again. And he's like the, one of the only people that I continue to like because Jason there at the end, I was just like, I don't even like you. And Kelly Pitts, like, why did you even come back? Like, I didn't miss you when you were gone. What kind of mother are you to just leave and then think, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't want Kelly to come back. I really wanted Chardonnay and 
Jason to make it, but whatever. Who cares what the viewers want? These look a lot better now that I trim them again. I think I just left them a little bit too long the last time I wore them. So it made my eyes look kind of droopy. But now that I trim them, I mean, they're still not my fave, but they're better. Like I feel like these could be Halloween lashes. I've been doing this weird thing where I glue, like I will get the smallest speck of glue on my lower lashes and my top lashes and they glue themselves together. And I do not, I do not like that feeling. Going in with foundation, I'm childish, I'm terrible. I think the most satisfying thing is doing the line down the nose. I almost got rid of this foundation because I was like, anything I haven't that I've gotten over a year ago, trash. And I just could not get rid of that foundation. Cause I just love it so much. Do you guys ever, okay, let's talk about game ads real quick. So you guys know like them little random game ads. <laughs> Brian and I have both discussed this, but after so many times of seeing a game ad, we both <laughs> get into downloading those games. Does anybody else do that? Or is it just us? Are we the only weirdos in the world? So I've been playing playing Project Makeover. Super fun. If you don't have it, you should download it. I like to watch, I like to play that game. Like when it's just like my idle time in the day, like after I've spent my time with God and you know, like worked, I like to sit down on either my bed or in my little recliner chair on the couch and plop my little feet up Turn on some Stephanie Sue or some Bailey, Bailey Sarian or makeup tutorial or makeup YouTubers if I'm very, very behind. I'll watch like, oh, what Lizzie do? Juicy Jazz, Leela, um, Raquel, you know, like all the people, Jessica Braun, I'll catch up on their videos. And while I'm watching, I will play that game. And I really, really like that game. Like a lot, really, really like it. Going in with the milk makeup stick. Also, my nails are way too long. I am not a fan of long nails, like at all. And I'm also gonna try putting my blush only from here back today. Cause I was watching What Would Lizzie Do? What Would Lizzie Do? Or Lizzie from What Would Lizzie Do? I was watching one of her makeup videos and she was saying how she started doing that cause she had a super round face. I'm pretty sure it was her, almost positive. But anyway, she started focusing her blush more towards the backside so that way her face didn't look like this from having blush right there. And I wanted to try that because I also have a super round, it's weird because my face is round but heart shaped. And I was like, huh, I wonder if my blush does intensify that look. So we're gonna try that today. I sort of got a more mauve -y blush instead of that elf one. A mauve -y blush would go way better with this eye look. So Brian watches Bailey Sarian with me. He's not too much of a fan of Stephanie Sue just because he can't stand people eating. Watching people eat. And so he will watch Bailey Sarian with me and every and every time he like actually pays attention to the makeup, he's like, wait, so what makeup step is she doing right now? Oh, so is that the step that's gonna make her face look slimmer? And I'm like, Brian, you are the cutest. Almost forgot to do concealer, y'all. So now I was like, wait, I see dark circles. Okay, and now time for cream blush. And this one is just in the shade Nearly Neutral. This is so cute, but it reminds me of like a little pill holder. Yeah, Selena Gomez was like my favorite Disney Channel star. Like favorite. And another Cinderella story is my favorite. I'm not the one with Hilary Duff, but the one with Selena Gomez. Love it. Love it so much. Add a little bit more. And this is like more of a Vaseline feel. Like super creamy rather than like a thick cream. Like I just feel like this feels super thin. Does that make sense, y'all? Yeah. And I'm surprised I remember to use the cream products this time because in my last shot mustache, I didn't use any of the cream products. I feel like it kind of disappears. It could be because I'm using a sponge. Who knows, let's go in and set. So for my under eyes, I'm going to tap out with my sponge to get the creases out, but I'm going to set it with a brush. I learned this trick from Leela. She said that she likes the way a brush looks more under her eyes because more dry under her eyes. And I don't know, I just like trying, you know, other people's methods. Okay, now I'm taking a sponge on the rest of my face. Oh, 
I can see the blush now. I can see it. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish up these lower lash, this lower lash line. And just taking the eyeshadow brushes that I used with no additional product and just running that across the lower lash line. I over right there. So once I sat down to film, I realized that eyeliner that I had picked out was actually the liquid liner and I just had it in the wrong spot. So I'm taking same brand, still a brown eyeliner. Okay, so yes, taking the brown eyeliner and this is super chocolatey brown. I love it. I don't think I use this that often. Why? That's super chocolate brown. Like it's not too dark to where it almost looks black. Like you can tell that's brown. I love that. Okay, back in with the mascara. Okay. Now that we got the mascara, still don't know how I feel about these lashes. Anyways, going in with bronzer now that the eyes are done. I get so scared with products that are hard to open because I do not want to dig my nail in them. I feel like that made my face red. Blush. Blushy blush. I'm just, I need to glue this back together, but. And this one's in the shade Always Cheeky, and I have the bronzer in Forever Sun Kissed. Oh, I almost forgot. I already forgot. Just not put blush there. Okay, and for highlight, going in with Lunch Money from ColourPop on this fluffy highlighter brush from Afero. Focus this back here too. Okay. We're going to set our brows really quick. And this one is in deep brown. This one is dry, dry. That's what it looks like. Yeah, this looks dry. Might be time to throw this away after today. Yep, definitely time to get rid of that. And then for lips, we're taking the dark brown lip liner from e.l.f. And now we are going to take Mink by Revlon. And this is just so pretty and apply that brown lip all day every day and now we can set using we don't try i know it's hard to use up um actually let me try to curl these and see if i like them at all curled huh oh huh. new much better my edges are no longer white now let's set okay yeah that that's gotta go we need to use that up quick because it was spitting at me. So I like one more use out of that too. I was going to, mm -mm. I'm about to mess up my hard work and dedication. Okay, you guys. So this is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed. The eye isn't really what I was going for, but it is really cute. And I this is my second time playing with my latte palette. And let me tell you, I don't think I've ever used ever used more blendable eyeshadows pig excuse me pigmented blendable eyeshadows this is i love it so glad i decided to buy that palette so anyways you guys that is it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed picking out some makeup with me and just hanging out with me and talking to me i enjoy talking to you guys and just you know playing a little bit of catch up but always remember that i love you guys but jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah!